There's a composer studying at New York's renowned Juilliard School who some say is the greatest talent to come along in 200 years. He's written five full-length symphonies, and listen to this, he's 12 years old. He's a kid named Jay Greenberg, although he likes to sign his work Blue Jay because, as he told us, Blue Jays are small and they make a lot of noise. Jay says that the music just fills his head and he has to write it down to get it out. What's going on in Blue Jay's head? Have a listen. A 12-year-old wrote this. He wrote every note for each and every instrument, and the really amazing part is, he wrote it in just a few hours. The piece is called The Storm. It was commissioned by the New Haven Symphony in Connecticut. And when the last note sailed into the night, Jay Greenberg navigated an unfamiliar stage past musicians who'd been playing longer than he'd been alive, and Blue Jay took his bow. We haven't seen his like in how long? Hundreds of years, probably 200 years. We are talking about a prodigy of the level of the greatest prodigies in history when it comes to composition. I'm talking about the likes of Mozart, and Mendelssohn and Sam Sands. Sam Zeman is a composer. He it's teaches like music best. theory to Jay at Juilliard in New York City, where he's been teaching for 17 years. This is an absolute fact. This is objective. This is not a subjective opinion. Jay could be sitting right here, and he could be composing right now. He could finish a piano sonata before our very eyes in probably 25 minutes and it will be a great piece. How's that possible? Well, Jay told us he doesn't know where the music comes from, but it comes fully written, playing like an orchestra in his head. As you hear it playing, can you change it as it goes along? Can you say to yourself, oh, let's bring the oboes in here, or let's bring the string section no, they here? Seem, they seem to come in by themselves if they need to. It's not something you're trying to do. Yeah, because it's, it's like my, the unconscious mind is giving orders at the speed of light, you know, I mean, so I just hear it as if it were a, a smooth performance of a work already written when it isn't. It's involuntary. I suppose so, yeah. Like the beating of the heart. You don't have to think about it. Mm -mm. It seems all the kids are downloading music these days. It's just that Jay, with his composing program, is downloading it from his mind. The program records his notes and plays them back. That is, when the computer's up and running. Jay composes so rapidly that he often crashes the computer. It is as if he's looking at a picture of the score and he's just taking it from the picture, basically. Jay's parents are as surprised as anyone. Neither is a professional musician. His father, Robert, is a linguist, a scholar in Slavic language, who lost his sight at the age of 36 to retinitis pigmentosa. His mother, Orna, is an Israeli-born painter. That's Michael, Jay's eight-year-old brother. He's not a musical prodigy, but Robert and Orna remember when they figured out that Jay was. I think around uh, two, when he started writing um, and actually drawing instruments we knew that he was fascinated with it started writing yeah at the age of two yes i'm afraid so he managed to draw a cello and ask for a cello and wrote the word cello and i was surprised because neither of us uh, have anything to do with string instruments um, and i didn't expect him to know what it was what a cello was right you didn't have a cello no in the we house. had no cello in had, the house had he seen a cello nope but he knew he wanted one. So his mother brought him to a music store where he was shown a miniature cello. And he just sat there, he put the cello, and he started playing on it. And I was like, how do you know how to do this? By age three, Jay was still drawing cellos, but he had turned them into notes on a scale. He was beginning to compose. 
Jay's parents watched the notes come faster and faster. He was writing any time, anywhere. By elementary school, his teachers had no idea how to handle a boy whose hero wasn't Batman, but Beethoven. He hears music in his head all the time. Jay has been told his hearing is many times more sensitive than an average person's. The sound of the city has to be shut out manually, but Jay can't turn off the music in his head. In fact, he told us he often hears more than one new composition at a time. Multiple channels is what it's been termed. Multiple channels. That my brain is able to control two or three different musics at the same time. Mm, along with the channel of everyday life and everything else. Jay channeled this piece when he was eight. By the age of 10, Jay was going to Juilliard, among the world's top conservatories of music, on a full scholarship. If you consider imitation um, an actual concrete object, this line would... At age 11, he was studying music theory with third-year college students. Jay also takes high school courses at another school, which his parents say he'll complete when he's 14. Take all with right, as written, okay? Right, and stay with Elizabeth right. Wolfe is a well-known right. concert pianist who and works with Jay on his piano technique. One, two, four, one, two, one more. Today, right. Jay brought one of his own works to practice. Jay, you need this... No choice, right? Jay writes things that he can't even play. The themes of this are pretty much impossible to play because of the extreme speed. I can do my best. Is it a cannon? It's a fugue. Jay wants to perfect his piano playing, although he says he doesn't need the piano or any instrument to compose. When you first hear this tune start to mm -hmm. rise in your head, what happens? Well, at first I just listen to it, um, and then I start humming it, and then when walking, I, I like walking a lot when I'm, in, when I'm inspired, <laughs> because then I walk to the beat of the music. <laughs> For example, if the beat is, and I start walking. <laughs> And often I start conducting as well. Jay's not a usual 12-year-old. Whoops. And he knows it. What happens when Jay gets bored? Oh, when he gets bored, he gets restless, and then he starts improvising. Last week, um, uh, he took the Beethoven sonata, the working right and now, and decided that everything would be kind of interesting upside down and backwards. So he took the volume and literally did just that. He can do it for you right now. And um, I couldn't even follow, but he actually took the clefs and inverted them. The treble became bass, bass became treble, and did it backwards. <laughs> Doing it. Talented composers might write five or six symphonies in a lifetime. Jay's written five at the age of 12. Hi, Jay. Hello. Nice to meet you. Me too. Welcome. Here, Jay's explaining the storm to conductor Young Ho Pak at the rehearsal of the New Haven performance. Do I pick up the tempo again to get back into here? Well, no. Keep Keep the tempo at three third down to oh, okay. here, and then keep the same tempo until the 90. Okay, gotcha. This is one of my favorite endings of all my works. 